L'Oreal has some of the nicest, most sophisticated labs that I've ever seen. So if you can imagine a huge open space um, with um, glass countertops, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful lab, really. But a lot of work gets done there, too. Um, so in terms of the work, we have um, a kettle where we do most of our batching. And you can liken a kettle to a, a huge, huge blender. Um, we also have microscopes where we can look at the formula under the microscope after we finish it um, to see what's going on with the um, with the emulsion. Um, we have a centrifuge so we can see if the formula is separating or not. Uh, we have some ovens, the cooler temperatures um, and the warmer temperatures to store samples as well as our finished products. Um, we have drawers and drawers of components. Uh, or packages that we use whenever we need to fill a product. Um, we have our retains. So when we make a batch, even if it doesn't work or marketing doesn't like it, we still save it just in case we need to look at it later. Um, for reference, um, we have a lot of finished goods that look really nice on top of our counters. We use that if we need to pull it for a formula number real quick or to see oh, what claim was made on that package. We have a hood in the lab where we do all of our reactive chemistry. So anything that might have a smell or might have some particles that would fly everywhere, you want to kind of just keep it contained. Um, we also have something called an elephant trunk, which is like a, a vent where we also can, which is also used to keep materials from flying around and keeping those contained. We have the hot plate, uh, which we use to heat all of our formulas up. Um, of course, we have our equipment such as beakers, uh, th thermometers, um, weigh boats, spatulas, spoons to stir the batch when we do it manually, um, the mixing blades, um, which help to... Uh, mix the batch and make sure it all comes together in a homogenous form. So at any given time, there could be about 10 to 15 chemists working in the lab. And this is the first step to creating the products that you see on your store shelf.